How's it going, son? No problems? It's okay, Dad. It's more likely to be a problem with me than with the farm. Don't make this up, Richie. You're a good guy. I think I'm entrusting the farm in good hands. Where are you going already? You're only 67. You're still young. Tell it to my heart. You're just like Ida. She's always going to the afterlife, too, even though she's not over 25. If you'll get our sicknesses, you'll understand. All right, get to work. Milen, are you fucking drunk again? <laughs> no, you're imagining things. I've only had five bottles of hard liquor. What do you want again, asshole? I have a problem here. I have no one to drink with. Look, I don't give a shit. I'm fucking sick of dragging you home every time. Rich, why the fuck are you so serious? Fuck you, okay? Douchebag. Who do you guys think it is? Maybe bikers? No, they may be fucking junkies, but they're not such motherfuckers. There's someone or something else here. Mafia? Mafia. <laughs> here? No, although, maybe. Maybe it's the local occultists. They're pretty strange to talk to. They can easily kill. Tom, when did you become a detective? Clyde's coming over. Let him handle it. But, sir! Do you want me to take away your premium? Hey, Cap, what have we got here? It was nothing. Just another drunkard whose drinking led to his death. Do you think it's that simple? What the fuck is there to think about? He stinks a mile away. Was the blood on his body also from alcohol? Hmm. I didn't think of that. You're like Captain fucking Obvious. Why don't you ask me the exact time of the murder? Did you come here to ask questions or investigate? Come on, chill out. Okay, Lando. Get to work, smart ass. Report back tomorrow. The last thing we need is a butcher. Poor guy. last call was to someone named Richard. I wish I knew who the fuck that was. Hey, Tom. Did he have any stuff on him? No, sir. Only the documents. From them, only his name became known. And what was his name? Melon Hiller, sir.
Rich, there's a phone call for you. It's the police. Richard Bills, this is Detective Clyde Lando. Do you know me, Lynn Hillier? Yeah, what happened? He was murdered that night. Your number was the last one he called. What? Are you kidding me? So, how many police jokers have called you? What do you want from me? You need to go to the police station for interrogation. A car will be coming to pick you up shortly. Hello, I was summoned by Detective Laplando. Where can I find him? Excuse me? Laplando. But there are none in our department. How could he not? He sent a car for me. Ah, maybe you mean Clyde Lando? Yes, him. Straight ahead and to the right. Fuck! Richard Bills? Yes. Then let's go to my office. What can I do for you? Just like I said on the phone. You were the last person to talk to the victim. What was the conversation about? He called already drunk, saying he didn't have anyone to drink with. I freaked out at him because before I had to drag him home many times. Is that the whole dialogue? What am I supposed to talk about with a prick? It's not nice to talk about a friend like that. He's not my friend now. He was a friend when we fought together in Vietnam. For the last five years, he was a piece of shit. Could he have had enemies? He? I don't have enough numbers to count them all. Tell me more about it. He fought with everybody. Bikers, hookers, whores, etc. Lately he had troubled relations with the owner of the bar he was drinking at. I can't tell you much more than that. That's enough, for starters. Can I go? Yes, Richard. Thanks for the tip.
Richie, are you going to stand here all night? No, some memories hit my head. Vietnam came to my mind and... Bilen. Yes, he saved my life back then. What happened? You didn't tell me about it. I didn't want you to worry. After the battle, the only survivors of our squad were myself and Mylene. We stumbled into a dilapidated village somewhere in the middle of the tropics. Charlie were running in and out like cockroaches. There were 10 or 15 of them, and all we had were pistols. Pistols? Two Berettas and two clips for each gun. We immediately turned our attention to one surviving hut. Around it lay our burned flags. We decided then that the best idea would be to knock out a couple of Charlies and take their weapons. As we descended, we noticed that there was dynamite lying next to the hut. Lots of dynamite. Milen immediately had the idea of blowing up the hut to get our attention. While Milen distracted Charlie, I ran into the cabin. I started to plant the dynamite, and then someone shot in my direction. When I turned around, I saw the muzzle of a rifle in front of me. Shot. Charlie dropped dead. Standing in the doorway was Milen. Oh, terrible. As soon as we blew up the hut, our helicopter showed up. And that's when he said, Hey Rich, look, our heavenly angels! And how did I repay him for that? For the last five years, I hated him with all my heart. No, Richie, you've been a faithful comrade to him. And that's much more important than some quarrels. I'll find out who did it. You have my word. Surely, son, now go to bed. Hi, Stevie. Any news on Milan Hillier's corpse? Hello. There are three weird cuts in the neck area, and the usual bruises on the body for such crimes. Weird cuts? Yes. At first I thought they were from the knife. But after checking them in detail, I was convinced otherwise. They're too artificial. It's as if the weapon was originally a fraction of the size. Uh, like what? It's hard to say. Probably some kind of fork or screwdriver. A fork? Or screwdriver? Yeah, you helped me. Now there's even more mystery. Don't burden yourself. It's just a guess. Until you catch the killer, it will be very difficult to determine the weapon. Anyway, I'm stumped. So there's a psychopathic forkman on the loose in our neighborhood? That's right, Clyde. When you hang his portrait on the board, sign it like that. Hilarious, it's hilarious. Hey, are you offended or something? Clyde? I have a lot of work to do, Stevie. See you around. What do you got, Clyde? There were a couple of strange cuts on his neck. Probably from a fork or a screwdriver. That's it? Unfortunately, yes. Nothing at all. Let's get some air. Are you kidding me? Not a single clue in two days? 
I didn't make it in time, so... What? You fucking missed it? Tell me, Clyde, who are you? A lousy patrolman or an experienced detective? Detective. Then answer. Why the fuck don't you have any new evidence in the Mylan Hillier case? I've been drinking, sir. Oh, motherfuck. Drinking. Ha. Huh. Clyde, you're a good guy. But the alcohol is taking over your life. You don't want to work anymore. You know the reason, sir. I know. That's why I don't punish you too much. But my patience is already at its limit. How, how can I make it up to you? There's a case. A junkie killed his wife and a gardener on Spunk. But the bastard doesn't want to admit his guilt. Should I just talk to him? No, give him a fucking tea party. Clyde, are you serious? I got it. I'll do it right away. Detective Clyde Lando, I'll be conducting the interrogation. Tell me why you killed your wife and your personal gardener. I didn't kill anybody. Well, when you were arrested, you were drugged on spunk and completely covered in blood, trying to bury pieces of your wife and gardener in the backyard under the blue bush. According to the coroner's report, they'd been shot in your bed, and there was a bloody chainsaw in the bathroom. Your fingerprints were all over the murder weapons, and you say you didn't do it. No, no, I was set up. I got too close to the truth, and they decided to get rid of me. Now that's more to the point. Your wife and this guy wanted to get rid of you? No, no, yes, yes, they wanted to kill me. Bastards, they wanted to kill me and take my money. It was self-defense. So your wife was unlawfully behaving in bed with the gardener, and you killed them? No, I didn't kill anyone. I was set up. Weren't you listening? All right, now I get it. Your wife conspired with the gardener to set you up. They shot themselves in your bed with your gun, went into the bathroom, where they chopped each other to pieces with a chainsaw and then huddled under the blue bush in the backyard to lure you out, feed you spunk and smear you with blood, and then called the police. Did I leave anything out? There! There! That's it! I know it sounds crazy, but it's not just them. It's much worse. It's the delivery service. They're all involved. And the mailman. It's the government. The letter carrier told me everything. So all we have to do is talk to the mailman and we'll get all the proof? No, it's unreal. He's dead. The mailman is dead. I think the district attorney would feel sorry for you if you told him right away where you buried the mailman. I hope it's not under the same blue bush. That's what I'm talking about, but you're not listening. You don't understand how serious it is. So what do you think I should do? Give me a gun and let me out of here. I'll have this sorted out in a jiffy. Well, smart guy. That's enough fun for now. Do you really think that's believable? No need to answer. It's a rhetorical question. All right. You stay in your cell while I record all this nonsense. Officer! Take him back to the prison cell. Funny guy. I would have even laughed if I remembered how to do it. Hey, Clyde, hold up! Is something wrong, sir? No. I wanted to tell you to be at the Hillier murder scene tomorrow. Why? We need to survey this place again. Why? 
Don't repeat a stupid question. If I say so, it's the right thing to do. There is a possibility that we might have missed something. Detective, what's he doing here at this hour? Hey, what are you doing here, cowboy? Driving by, I wanted to say hello. I thought you were in the car. We don't know each other well enough to run up and say hello. You seem angry today. What are you doing here? Richard, what's your point? Milen was my friend, after all. Really? During the interrogation, I heard otherwise. Well, let's say you changed your mind. I was called in to do a more detailed sweep of the area where the murder took scene, and for good reason. Did you find something? Yeah, I found a screwdriver a few feet from where the body was. I think you may have seen it in my car by now. Interesting. But how does a screwdriver help you? If fingerprints are found on it, the killer can be found quite easily. Can a simple screwdriver help the investigation that much? Surely. All right, then. Then good luck with your investigation. I hope you catch the bastard. Do you like the interior of my car? We can swap. The Statler Brothers, cool. I keep hearing your concern about my happiness. All the thoughts you're giving me is conscience, I guess. If I were walking in your shoes, I wouldn't worry enough. Are you and your friends are worried about me? I'm having lots of fun. Let's go. I 
What the fuck? Dad, what are you doing here? Just finished cleaning out the yard. There's so much trash after the harvest. You should have called me or the workers. It would have been easier. Don't worry, Richie. You've got enough to worry about. So do the workers. The workers also have something to do. I can clean up the yard myself. Well, whatever. Oh, by the way, Rich, what about the Melans case? You seem a little mysterious today. Nothing. I went to the murder scene, thought I'd take a look around, but all I found was a detective. You'd be better off offering him your help. I wanted to, but he didn't like me coming there at all. He was extremely unhappy with my presence. Seriously? And what did he tell you? Nothing. He just made me leave there. And it embarrasses me. What's there to be surprised about? I'll tell you a story I told a long time ago. I was once at a high-end service station in Doherty, and I had to have my truck repaired. I tried to tell the foreman what to do and how to do it, because I know this car very well, but he looked at me angrily and then asked to leave, so as not to interfere. After that, I concluded that it is better to trust professionals and not to interfere with them to do their job. Are you saying that he got mad just because I wanted to help him? He must be a man with a lot of experience. Therefore, he feels that you will not help him in any way. But you will seem to be a burden. I don't know what you mean. Do you think I should give up the search? No, of course not. Try to stay out of sight of that detective and you'll be fine. If he's that unhappy to see you, call me. We'll consult together. Great. I completely forgot to tell you about one thing in the detective's car. So what is this thing? A screwdriver. So... When I talked to him, he said he found her at the murder scene. And what could that mean? In fact, anybody could have a screwdriver. There's nothing special about it, but the detective said it would help the investigation. Because he knows what he's talking about, I don't think we should bother him. I'll still be looking for the killer. Look for it. Just be careful. Stop!
Hey, what are you guys doing? Got you, maniac. Hey, look at him. What the fuck is going on here? Shut up, asshole. You're already guilty. You are charged with murder with particular cruelty. What? Is that more clear? What the fuck are you doing? I didn't kill anybody. You will tell these tales to the judge. I will not listen to this, for there is evidence. Last night, you were spotted by a guard trying to steal a corpse from the morgue. What kind of nonsense is this? Never mind. Guys, take him. Lando. I have some good news for you. One Joker tried to sneak into the morgue to steal your friend's body. A guard spotted him. We got him this morning. It turned out to be none other than the killer himself. Did you find out why he killed Milan? We haven't gotten a confession out of him yet. But he's already in the dock, so we'll soon find out. Can I see this man? Now? No, that's impossible. Only at the trial. So he killed with a common screwdriver? Did you find out whose tool it was? Too many questions, cowboy. If someone told me that, I'd get drunk at the bar and finally be done with this story. But you keep staying at it. I don't understand why there's such animosity. Forget it. Just know that your friend's killer has been caught, and we've finally solved the case. The only thing that comes next is court and prison. You're late today, Richie. Where have you been all day? Don't worry, Dad. I was grocery shopping, met someone I knew, we started talking, and one thing led to another. Well then, I have good news for you. Your friend's killer is finally caught. I know already. Have you bought a fresh paper yet? No, a detective called me today and told me about it, but I didn't like the conversation with him. So what did you talk about? He said that the murderer was discovered in the morgue when he tried to steal Milan's corpse. He was arrested this morning. It sounds like some kind of crazy story, but I believed it. Yes, that's about what it says in the paper. I'm shocked at the kind of people who are nowadays. This is not the case here. The killer was clearly an idiot. He killed spontaneously, and he decided to steal the body for some reason. A week after the murder. Yeah, he's a, just a trucker, not a born killer. Is the killer a trucker? The detective didn't say that. That's what it said in the paper. I was surprised too, but since Milan was drunk, he could get into a fight with anyone. Anyway, there are strange things here. 
At the very least, I don't like the detective talking to me in a way so that I get rid of him. Come on, Richie. Apparently that's the kind of person he is, so he communicates that way. Besides, the maniac was found abruptly the next morning after my meeting with the detective. They couldn't find him for a week, a regular fucking trucker. At least, Rich, we can say that the case is solved. All we have to do is wait for the trial. Will you be there? Sure. I want to see this jerk make excuses for what he's done. All right, let's go to bed. It's been a long day. Hey, Richie, I got a case for you. What's wrong, Dad? Ida called her car broke down. She asks that you come to her house and see what's wrong with it. You seem to know a lot about cars, too. No, Richie, I'm too old for that. She's got a mono injector, and I'm not good at that stuff. Okay, I'll be right there. Don't worry about the farm. It's your day off, and the important thing is to fix your sister's car so she can drive to work safely. All right, I'll take the quad bike. My car's almost out of fuel. You're finally here. I thought I wouldn't live to see this moment. Oh, come on. Did Dad tell you about the car? It broke down right on the road. Yeah, I'll take a look, but get yourself a newer car. You won't get far in this old antique. Don't get smart. You hungry? I'm having like your favorite casserole today. Of course, bring it on and bring a beer too. You'll be fine. Get the car done first.
Detective, not a bad coincidence. Richie, the casserole is on the table. Go inside. I'm going to step back. Need to talk to someone. I'll be back in a few minutes. screwdriver. Does he have to carry evidence with him? What is that stench? Oh, motherfuck! I knew I should have killed you back then. Why did you kill him? For assaulting an officer of the law, you're fucked. Answer the question, fucking prick. You really want to know? They'll tell you. I feel sorry for him. He's been through enough. What do you mean, Andrew? Five years ago, his wife and daughter were stabbed to death. What do you think the weapon was used? Indeed? Yeah. And he was probably too close to the truth. And this bastard decided to finish what he started. Now he will be kept behind bars for a long time.
and round the door I got a big surprise It's jammed. Fuck it. They hit the wall hard. The police are nearby. We have to run. 